Preparing for three different satellites has been a challenge. We had to make sure that the ground segment was prepared and ready to support three satellites rather than only two. So all the facilities had to undergo an extensive validation process um, to make sure that also the data generation on ground, also the data dissemination facility, all these other facility, support facilities are okay and ready to support the three flying method satellites. The main challenge with the upgrade of our ground segment was the fact that the system was never designed to operate three spacecraft. It was initially designed to operate one spacecraft and to commission or prepare for the operation of a, a second spacecraft. But when METOP B was launched, METOP A was still very healthy and therefore we decided to upgrade the system to operate two spacecraft in parallel. That's not too much of a change, but when you're going to launch METOP C, we still have two healthy spacecraft because METOP A, even though it was launched in 2006 and is meant to only last a minimum of five years, in reality, it's still going and still healthy. So now we have two spacecraft in orbit. We're going to launch the third spacecraft. So we have to operate three spacecraft in parallel and not just the spacecraft, the ground segment that, that supports it, the generation of the products and transmission of those products out to our users. So we're adding 50% of the loading on top of the system compared to what it was designed to be able to handle. So the EPS ground segment is actually distributed over quite a large number of sites and globally as well. We have our main mission control centre here in Darmstadt in Germany where we operate the spacecraft and we also have our processing systems for the generation of our products. But the spacecraft itself is in a polar orbit which means we need a ground station that's either near the North Pole or near the South Pole. Our ground stations are in Svalbard in Norway on the Spitsbergen uh, archipelago uh, which is actually inside the Ar Arctic Circle. And then as well, and not to forget the, uh, the teams which are working here, but the controller teams uh, which are very well trained to support uh, multiple satellite operations. We have our, our uh, spacecraft and ground segment controllers. Their job is to operate the spacecraft and operate the ground segment minute to minute to make sure that things are, are operating normally and to be able to react quickly if something goes wrong. So we are going to be running different simulate, uh, simulation sessions um, to run the activities that we will be running for real on the satellite after the launch. And uh, we try to inject some failures and see how the team is going to react and uh, to make sure that we are able to recover from every problem or every anomaly. So it's going to be a good exercise for the team for the preparation for the launch. Now everything is in place for a good launch in November. We are um, doing a lot of uh, activities to simulate um, the SIOV phase and uh, the LEOP phase as well. Uh, so we are doing as well together with ASOC a lot of simulation to make sure that all the different teams, not only new method but also in uh, ASOC are ready for and prepared to handle uh, the uh, post-launch phase. And uh, yes, um, we are basically ready. <laughs>